The following list of national founding figures is a record, by country, of people who were credited with establishing their nation. National founders are typically those who played an influential role in setting up the systems of governance, i.e., political system form of government, and constitution, of the country. They can also be military leaders of a war of independence that led to the existence of the country. Africa. Topic: Cape Verde. Amilcar Cabral, VAR. Amilcar Lopez da Costa Cabral, the 12th of September 1924 to the 20th of January 1973, was an agricultural engineer, writer, and a nationalist thinker and political leader. He was also one of Africa's foremost anti-colonial leaders. Amilcar Cabral led the nationalist movement of Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde Islands and the ensuing War of Independence in Guinea-Bissau. He was assassinated on 20 January 1973, several months before Guinea-Bissau's unilateral declaration of independence. He is considered a founder of Cape Verde. <laughs> Democratic Republic of the Congo Patrice Lumumba, Joseph Kassa Vubu, Albert Kalanji, Jean Bolakongo, Cleophas Kamatatu, and Paul Balia are all considered fathers of independence in the Congo. <laughs> Egypt There is no agreed founder of Egypt across academia nor historians. It is difficult to know where to start as Egypt was unified around 3000 BC and endured multiple changes in terms of government and policies. Topic: <inaudible> Guinea. Ahmed Sekou Touré, VAR. Ahmed Sekou Touré, the 9th of January 1922 to the 26th of March 1984, was a Guinean political leader and president of Guinea from 1958 to his death in 1984. Touré was one of the primary Guinean nationalists involved in the independence of the country from France. He is with Kwame Nkrumah, one of the founders of the African Union, and the Guinean Diallo Telly was the first general secretary of the African Union. Topic. Ghana Kwame Nkrumah led the nation to its independence from the United Kingdom in 1957. Topic. Kenya Jomo Kenyatta served as the first Prime Minister and President of the Republic. Liberia Joseph Jenkins Roberts was born a free man of black American descent. In 1829 his family moved to Liberia. In 1839, Roberts became Liberia's lieutenant governor and afterwards, its governor 1841 He is known as the father of Liberia and officially declared Liberia's independence in 1847. <inaudible> <inaudible> Libya King Idris al Sanusi, also known as Idris I of Libya, the 12th of March 1889 to the 25th of May 1983, was the first and only king of Libya, reigning from 1951 to 1969, and the chief of the Sanusi Muslim Order. Idris as Sanusi proclaimed an independent emirate of Cyrenaica in 1949. He was also invited to become Emir of Tripolitania, another of the three traditional regions that now constitute modern Libya, the third being Fezzan. By accepting he began the process of uniting Libya under a single monarchy. A constitution was enacted in 1949 and adopted in October 1951. A national congress elected Idris as King of Libya, and as Idris I he proclaimed the independence of the United Kingdom of Libya as a sovereign state on 24 December 1951. 
Topic: <inaudible> Madagascar. The King Radama I, the first Malagasy sovereign to be recognized as King of Madagascar, 1810 to 1828. Philibert Siranana, the first president of Madagascar from 1959 to 1972. Topic: <inaudible> Namibia. Dr. Sam Shafishina Nujoma Andimba Toivo Ya Toivo Hendrik Wibui Namakwa Chief Topic Nigeria Herbert Macaulay 1864 to 1946 Professor Ioida 1904 to 1980s Alvin Ikoku 1900 to 1971 Dr. Namdi Azakiwa, 1904 to 1996. Chief Obafemi Awolowo, 1909 to 1987. Al Haji Sir Amadu Bello, 1910 to 1966. Al Haji Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, 1912 to 1966. Chief Anthony Enahoro, 1923 to 2010. Sir Egbert Udo Udoma, 1917 to 1998. General Murtala Muhammad 1938 to 1976 Al Haji Aminu Kano 1920 to 1983 Chief SA Ajayi 1910 to 1994 Joseph Tarka 1932 to 1980 Dennis Osaid Bay 1911 to 1994 All are considered founders of Nigeria the Troika of Obafemi Awolowo, Namdi Azakiwa, and Amadu Bello negotiated Nigeria's independence from Britain, aided by such figures as Chief Funmalayo Ransom Kuti. <laughs> Sierra Leone Freetown, Sierra Leone was founded in part by an African-American slave called Thomas Peters in 1792 who convinced British abolitionists to help settle 1,192 black Americans who fought for the British in return for freedom. Peters alongside other black Americans David George and Moses Wilkinson were influential in the establishment of Freetown, but it was Peters who is remembered today as the true influential leader and founder of Sierra Leone. A street was named for Thomas Peters in Freetown by the Creo Mayor Winstanley Bankol Johnson. Topic: <laughs> South Africa. Nelson Mandela, 1918 to 2013, was the former president of South Africa in office from 1994 to 1999. He led the negotiations together with F. W. de Klerk to racially integrate and unite the country. Oliver Tombo Walter Sisulu Governor Mbeki Joe Slovo Ahmed Kathrada Raymond M. H. Laba Robert Sobukwe Joe Modis Chris Haney Tanzania Julius Nyerere key figure in the independence of the country and first president. On the part of Zanzibar the other side of the union there is Sheikh Abiyad Aman Karum. Topic: <tunisia>, Tunisia. The founder of the modern Tunisia is Habib Bourguiba. Topic: <tunisia> Zimbabwe. Rikai Tangwena Joshua Nkomo Leopold Takawara Simon Muzenda Robert Mugabe N. Dabaningi Sithole Herbert Chitepo Josiah Tongogara Enos Nikala Edgar Tekeri George Nyandoro James Chikirema Solomon Majuri Alfred Nikita Mangina Josiah Tungamurai Jason Moyo Zambia 
Kenneth Conda Kenneth Conda is the prominent icon in the independence and unification of Zambia. However, there are important personalities like Simon Kapwepwe and Harry Nkambula that fairly deceive recognition. Together, in their different capacities, they led the nation to freedom. Simon Kapwepwe Harry Nkambula Asia Topic Afghanistan Ahmad Shah Durrani (1723–1773) unified the Afghan tribes and founded Afghanistan in 1747. His mausoleum is next to the Shrine of the Cloak in Kandahar, Afghanistan, where he is fondly known as Ahmad Shah Baba, Ahmad Shah the Father. Topic: <laughs> Armenia. Haik Nahape is considered the traditional founder of Armenia to which he gave his namesake, Haik Hyaston, and occasionally as the ancestor to all Armenians. He was explained in the Mavses Koronatsi book, History of Armenia book to have established Armenia as a home for his people around Lake Van where Haik and his people battled with and were then free from the tyranny of the Neo-Assyrian Empire and Nimrod on the 11th of August, 2492 BC Aram Manukian is considered the founder of the First Republic of Armenia. <laughs> Azerbaijan Mamid Amin Rasulzade Azerbaijani, Mhamemdi Min Aksan Hasi Mola Elkaber Oglu Arsulzad, Turkish, Mehmed Emin Rasulzad, 31 January 1884, Novakana, near Baku the 6th of March 1955, Ankara was an Azerbaijani statesman, scholar, public figure, and one of the founding political leaders of Azerbaijan Republic. 1918 His expression, Bir Kur Yuxelain Bayarak, Bir Daha ends. The flag once raised will never fall," became the motto of the independence movement in Azerbaijan in the 20th century. <inaudible> Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, known with the honorary title Bangabandhu, is the founding father of Bangladesh. He led Bengali nation to the decade-long struggle for independence against then autocratic rule of Pakistan, finally resulting the Bangladesh Liberation War and the independence of Bangladesh in 1971. Abul Qasim Fazlul Huq, Hussein Shahid Surawardi, and Abdul Hamid Khan Bashani are considered as three primary founders of Bangladesh, who shaped the Bengali nationalism since the days of British rule. Apart from the founding leaders, the four key members of the Liberation Wartime Government Vice President Syed Nasrul. Islam, Prime Minister Tajuddin Ahmad, Finance Minister Muhammad Mansur Ali and Home Minister Abul Haznat Muhammad Kamaruzaman altogether known as Four National Leaders and the Liberation Wartime Armed Forces Chief Muhammad Atal Ghani Osmani are hailed as vital figures in Bangladesh's independence. <laughs> Bhutan Shabdrung Nawang Namgul (1594–1651) fled Tibet and unified the fiefdoms of Bhutan. He established the dual system of shared power between secular and Buddhist leadership that continues as a tradition to the present. Topic: <laughs> People's Republic of China. Wangdi is revered as the legendary founder and initiator of Chinese civilization. Yu the Great was a legendary ruler in ancient China famed for inaugurating dynastic rule in China by establishing the legendary Xia dynasty. In 221 BC, after the then King of Qin completed the conquest of the various Chinese kingdoms of the Warring States period, he adopted a new title to reflect his prestige as a ruler greater than the rulers before him. He called himself Shi Wangdi, the first emperor of China. Sun Yat-sen is seen as the first president of a republican China and is highly regarded as the forerunner of the democratic revolution. Zheming Xian Xing Jie in the People's Republic of China. Mao Zedong is revered as the founder of the People's Republic in 1949. <laughs> Republic of China 
Sun Yat-sen is revered as the founding father, father of the nation, Guo Fu of the Republic of China. Topic: <inaudible> Georgia. King Farnavas I of Iberia (302–237 BC) was the first king of the United Georgian Kingdom of Iberia. Bagrat III is considered as the first king of United Georgian Kingdom. Zviad Gamsakhurdia is the first president and founder of modern Republic of Georgia. Topic: India. Topic: Ancient. Emperor Ashoka, 3rd century BC emperor of the Maurya dynasty who united much of the Indian subcontinent under his rule forming the largest Indian empire. <laughs> Modern B. R. Ambedkar is the founding father of constitution of Indian Republic. He served as the first Minister of Law and Justice. Mahatma Gandhi Tinda, Malang, is unofficially considered as the father of India and is featured on Indian currency and is central to Indian political symbolism. Other prominent Indian independence activists involved with the foundation of India include Jawaharlal Nehru who served as the first Prime Minister of India 1947-64, Vallabhbhai Patel who served as the first Deputy Prime Minister of India and Home Minister of India and was pivotal in helping merge erstwhile princely states with the Indian Union, C. Rajagopalachari who served as the last Governor General of India, Subhas Chandra Bose, J. B. Kripalani and Abul Kalam Azad all of whom served as the President President of the Indian National Congress with Bose also founding the revolutionary Indian National Army during World War II. Topic: <inaudible> Indonesia. Sukarno and Muhammad Hatta are the founders of Indonesia. They both signed the Proclamation of Independence which then read by Sukarno, proclaiming the independence of Indonesia from the Netherlands on the 17th of August 1945. A day later, they were elected respectively as the first president and vice president of Indonesia. As the Netherlands did not recognize the independence, both of them were prominent figures and were seen as symbol of unity among Indonesian people to fight against Dutch during the National Revolution from 1945 to 1949. In August 1949, Hatta headed a delegation to The Hague for a round table conference which then led to the recognition of Indonesian independence by the Netherlands on 23 December 1949. Iran Persia. Cyrus the Great (600 BC to 530 BC) was the founder of the first Persian Empire under the Achaemenid dynasty, an empire without precedent, a first world empire of historical importance. Many Iranians gather at his tomb in Pasargadae annually on the Cyrus the Great Day and Nowruz, the Persian New Year. Prior to the 1979 revolution, the 2500th year of foundation of imperial state of Iran took place. It consisted of an elaborate set of festivities that took place on 12 to 16 October 1971 on the occasion of the 2500th anniversary of the founding of the Imperial State of Iran and First Persian Empire by Cyrus the Great. The intent of the celebration was to demonstrate Iran's old civilization and history to showcase its contemporary advancements under Muhammad Reza Pahlavi, the last Shah of Iran. Israel Theodor Herzl is considered the founder of the Zionist movement and thus indirectly a founder of Israel. David Ben Gurion was the founder of the State of Israel and the first Prime Minister of Israel. Kazakhstan There is no law in the country which officially recognizes a single individual as the Father of the nation. Either title may be associated with any of the following prominent historical persons, owing to their impact on the country during their respective times. Ali Khan Bukhikhanov, the 5th of March 1866 to the 27th of September 1937, was a Kazakh statesman, politician, publicist, teacher, writer, and environmental scientist. 
He was leader and founder of the Alash Orda National Liberation Movement. He sided with the westernizers in the Kazakh political scene who were promoting the idea of the western culture into the Kazakh steppe. In 1920, after the establishment of Soviet hegemony, Bukikhanov joined the Bolshevik party and returned to scientific life. His earlier political activities caused the authorities to view him with suspicion, leading to arrests in 1926 and 1928. In 1926, Bukikhanov was arrested on the charge of counter-revolutionary activity and put into Butyrka prison in Moscow. But due to the lack of evidence in the criminal case against him, he was released from prison. In 1930, the authorities banished him to Moscow, where he was arrested a final time in 1937 and executed. Dinmakamed Kuneyev, the 12th of January 1912 to the 22nd of August 1993, was a Kazakh Soviet communist politician. He became first secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Kazakhstan again in 1964 when Khrushchev was ousted and replaced by Brezhnev. He kept his position for 22 more years. He was an alternate member of the Politburo from 1967, and a full member from 1971 to 1987. During Kuneyev's long rule, Kazakhs occupied prominent positions in the bureaucracy, economy and educational institutions. A Brezhnev loyalist, he was removed from office under pressure from Mikhail Gorbachev, who accused him of corruption. On 16 December 1986 the Politburo replaced him with Gennady Kolbin, who had never lived in the Kazakh SSR before. This provoked street riots in Almaty, which were the first signs of ethnic strife during Gorbachev's tenure. In modern Kazakhstan, this revolt is called Jeltiksin, meaning December in Kazakh. Nursultan Nazarbayev was elected the nation's first president following its independence from the Soviet Union in December 1991. In 2010 Parliament of Kazakhstan named him Elbasi, Elbasi which means, leader of the nation. <laughs> Japan Emperor Jima, Shen Wu Tian Huang Jinmu Tenno traditional reign the 18th of February 660 BC to the 9th of April 585 BC was the first emperor of Japan, according to the traditional order of succession. The Japanese national holiday National Foundation Day, Jien Guo Jinian no Ri Kenkoku Kinan no Hai is celebrated annually on the 11th of February in commemoration of the founding of the nation of Japan and the ascension of Emperor Jima to the imperial throne. Malaysia Tunku Abdul Rahman the 8th of February 1903 to the 6th of December 1990 usually known as the Tunku a princely title in Malaysia and also called Bapa Kemerdekan father of independence or Bapa Malaysia father of Malaysia was chief minister of the Federation of Malaya from 1955 and the country's first prime minister from independence in 1957 he remained Prime Minister after Sabah, Sarawak, and Singapore joined in 1963 to form Malaysia. <inaudible> Mongolia Modu Chanu, c. 234 BC–174 BC, founded the first Mongolian Zongnu state. Genghis Khan c. 1162 to 1227 who by uniting the nomadic tribes founded the Mongol Empire is generally regarded as the father of modern day Mongolia Although downcast during the communist era Genghis Khan's reputation surged after the democratic revolution in 1990 Modern Mongolia is often called Genghis's Mongolia Topic <inaudible> Myanmar <inaudible> <inaudible> Anuradha is considered to be founder of ancient Burmese kingdom of Pagan. General Aung San is the founder of modern Burma also known as Myanmar. Although he did not live to see the country's independence, he is credited in forming the basic structure of the independence movement and government. Aung San started his political career in 1930 as the editor of Rangoon University's newspaper, where he accused one of the British administrators of misconduct. In late 1940 he went to Japanese-controlled Taiwan and Xiamen to receive military training, and he led the Burmese National Army, spearheading the Japanese invasion of Burma. Later, he switched sides to the Allies, and helped in the Burma campaign. 
After the war, he was appointed to the government of a returning British administration, and was able to negotiate Burma's independence. He helped organize the Panglong Agreement in February 1947, achieving independence for all Burmese territories. However, on Saturday 19 July 1947, Aung San, along with his cabinet ministers, was assassinated at the Secretariat Building in Rangoon. Nepal Prithvi Narayan Shah was largely responsible for the unification of Nepal, and is considered to be the founder of Nepal. His vision of ruling over a unified Nepal is said to have started when atop a hill near Nipa Valley present-day Kathmandu, he decided he would like to rule over it. His strategic plan was very successful and his successors continued to build on his progress. Prithvi Narayan Shah's descendants continued to rule over Nepal for a total of 240 years before the 2006 democracy movement in Nepal toppled the constitutional power exercised by King Ganendra, before abolishing the monarchy in 2008. North Korea Kim Il-sung was the first leader of North Korea at the time of the establishment of the country in 1948. Pakistan Pakistan's founder is Muhammad Ali Jinnah, who is hailed as quaid e azam or Great Leader and Baba Eqaum or Father of Nation. Other prominent founders include the poet Allama Iqbal or Spiritual Father, believed to be the first person to propagate the idea of a state for India's Muslims, Fatima Jinnah Mother of Nation, and members of Pakistan's first cabinet such as Liaquat Ali Khan, A.K. Fazlul Huq, Abdul Rab Nishtar, Malik Faroz Khan Noon, Khwaja Nazimuddin and I. I. Chundrigar. Some historians credit the Muslim reformist Sir Syed Ahmad Khan as a founder of Pakistan. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Philippines. There is no law in the country which officially recognizes a single individual as the father of the nation. Either title may be associated with any of the following prominent historical persons, owing to their impact on the country during their respective times: Jose Rizal, the 19th of June 1861 to the 30th of December 1896, was a Filipino nationalist during the tail end of the Spanish colonial period of the Philippines. An ophthalmologist by profession, Rizal became a writer and a key member of the Filipino propaganda movement, which advocated political reforms for the colony under Spain. He was executed by the Spanish colonial government for the crime of rebellion after an anti-colonial revolution, inspired in part by his writings, broke out. Though he was not actively involved in its planning or conduct, he ultimately approved of its goals which eventually led to Philippine independence. He is widely considered one of the greatest heroes of the Philippines, and is implied by Philippine law to be one of the national heroes. He was the author of the novels Noli Mi Tangere, and El Filibusterismo, and a number of poems and essays. Andres Bonifacio the 30th of November 1863 to the 10th of May 1897, de facto president and a leader during the Philippine Revolution in 1896, which saw armed resistance against the Spanish Empire. Emilio Aguinaldo, the 22nd of March 1869 to the 6th of February 1964, leader of the latter part of the Philippine Revolution and first president of the Philippines through the 1899 Malolos Congress, which oversaw the promulgation of the Malolos Constitution. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Saudi Arabia. King Abdulaziz al Saud, also known as Ibn Saud, is the founding father of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. <inaudible> Singapore Lee Kuan Yew, the 16th of September 1923 to the 23rd of March 2015, often referred to as the father of Singapore or by the initials LKY, he was the first prime minister of the Republic of Singapore, governing for 3 decades. He is also widely recognized as the founder of modern Singapore. Topic: <laughs> South Korea Syngman Rhee was the first president of South Korea. 
Topic: <laughs> Sri Lanka. Prince Vijaya is considered to be the first king of Sri Lanka with King Dudagemunu honored as the first king to unify Sri Lanka. DS Sananayaki the 20th of October 1883 to the 22nd of March 1952 is widely known as the modern post-independence father of the nation. Sirimavo Bandaranayaka the 17th of April 1916 to the 10th of October 2000 was the first female prime minister of Sri Lanka and the modern world's first female head of government. William Gopalawa, the 17th of September 1896 to the 31st of January 1981, was the first constitutional president. While J. R. Jaywardine, the 17th of September 1906 to the 1st of November 1996, was the first executive president. Chandrika Kumaratunga, the 29th of June 1945 present, was the first female executive president of the country. Turkey By the end of the 14th century, most of Anatolia was controlled by various Anatolian beyliks due to the collapse of the Seljuk dynasty in the area. The Seljuk dynasty had established both the Seljuk Empire, which was founded by Tural and the Sultanate of Rum, with the first one being responsible for the Turkification of Anatolia. Osman I unified the beyliks under one banner, proclaiming the Ottoman Empire. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder and first president of the Republic of Turkey. Following the First World War, the huge conglomeration of territories and peoples that formerly comprised the Ottoman Empire was divided into several new states. The Turkish War of Independence 1919 initiated by Mustafa Kemal Atatürk and his colleagues in Anatolia, resulted in the establishment of the modern Republic of Turkey in 1923. He subsequently introduced many radical reforms with the aim of transforming the old Ottoman Turkish state into a new secular republic. Topic: <inaudible> Vietnam. Kin Duong Vong and descendants of the Hong Bang dynasty, reigned between 2879-258 BC, are revered as the founders of the first Vietnamese state and civilization. Its commemoration, also known as Gio Te Hung Vong, is an official public holiday in Vietnam, which is celebrated on the tenth day of the third lunar month. Ho Chi Minh is the first president of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam and the founder of the Communist Party of Vietnam. He proclaimed the independence of Vietnam from Japanese and French on 2 September 1945. He later led Vietnam through wars against France and the United States. Topic: United Arab Emirates. Initially independent emirates, part of the Trucial States, Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan established the United Arab Emirates by joining the seven independent emirates into a federation. Topic: Europe. Topic. Albania Skanderbeg was a prominent historical figure in the history of Albania and of the Albanian people. He successfully fought against the Ottoman Empire during its apex the time of Sultans Murad II and Mehmed II and maintained independence for 25 years 1443 until his death. He is the national hero of the Albanians. Ismail Kemali was a distinguished leader of the Albanian national movement at the beginning of the 20th century, founder of the modern Albanian state in 1912, and its first head of state and government. <laughs> Bosnia and Herzegovina Elijah Izetbegovic, the wartime president of Bosnia, is deemed the national founder of modern Bosniaks. Topic: Bulgaria. Kubrit was the ruler of Old Great Bulgaria in 632. His son Asperic migrated to the Balkans and established the first Bulgarian Empire in 681. Modern-day Bulgaria is a direct successor of this state. Asperuk's brother Kotrag migrated north and founded Volga Bulgaria. 
Mythical rulers of Bulgaria exist before them, dating back as far as 3rd millennium BC. Croatia Ante Starčević, founder of Croatian nationalism. Franjo Tudman, first president of the Republic of Croatia 1990–99. Self-proclaimed, father of the nation. Czech Republic Václav Klaus is a Czech prominent politician, later president, which agreed on dissolution of Czechoslovakia with the Slovaks. Václav Havel was the first president of the Czech Republic 1993 Founder of modern Czech statehood is considered the first president of Czechoslovakia Tomáš Garíg Masaryk the Kingdom of Bohemia was formally established in 1198 by Premisel Ottokar I. Patron saint is Saint Wenceslaus, which murder is celebrated as Statehood Day. Topic: <laughs> France. Vercingetorix. Charlemagne. Clovis I united all the Frankish tribes in Gaul and gave them a common Catholic religion. Napoleon founded the First French Empire and established many modern French institutions. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, later known as Napoleon III is the first French president, elected 1848, but he is never considered as a national founding figure. Charles de Gaulle is a hero of the French resistance to Germany during World War II, and the founder and first president of the Fifth French Republic. Germany Before the national unification of Germany in 1871, German nationalists sought out multiple legendary founders of the German nation, such as Arminius, Charlemagne and, as championed by Friedrich Ludwig Jahn and Richard Wagner, Henry the Fowler. Otto von Bismarck 1815 the «Iron Chancellor» engineered the unification of the numerous states of Germany in 1871. Modern, democratic Germany was decisively shaped by the «Fathers of the Basic Law» in the 1948 Constitutional Convention at Heronschimsee, and by the first German Chancellor, Konrad Adenauer. For reunified Germany, the slogan «Wir sind das Volk» «We are the people» became symbolic, thus making all Germans founders of modern Germany. Greece Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Ancient Helen, mythical progenitor of the Greeks, who gives his name to both the people and the country in the Greek language. Theseus, semi-legendary founder hero of Athens. Solon 594 BC and Cleisthenes 508 BC, inventors of democracy and founders of the Athenian constitution. Lycurgus of Sparta, founder of the Spartan constitution. Cadmus, founder and first king of Thebes. Philip II of Macedon, founder of the first united Greek federation and father of Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great, founder of the Macedonian Empire. Modern Adamantios Kore, Theophilos Kyries and other figures of the Greek Enlightenment who contributed to the country's national awakening leading up to its revolution against the Ottoman Empire Rigas Ferraios, writer and revolutionary who is remembered as a national hero and the first victim of the uprising against the Ottomans Theodorus Kolokotranis, Georgios Koreskakis, Andreas Vokos Myolis, Laskarina Bubulina, Yanis Mikrayanis, and other military leaders of the Greek War of Independence, Alexandros Mavrokordatos, President of the First National Assembly at Epidaurus, co author of the Greek Declaration of Independence and First Provisional Constitution, and first head of government President of, the Executive of modern Greece. Ioannis Kapodistrias, first head of state of independent Greece 1827 and founder of the modern Greek state Eleftherios Venizelos, leader of the Greek national liberation movement, credited with being the maker of modern Greece 
Konstantinos Karamanlis, the first Greek president after the fall of Junta, founder of New Democracy, and also known as the Ethnarch. Hungary According to Anonymous the Figidelum who made the Magyars settle into the Carpathian Basin in 896 AD was Arpad. His dynasty reigned over the Hungarian kingdom from the 9th century until 1301. In Hungary Stephen I of Hungary is commonly regarded as the founder of the nation. He was Hungary's first king and united the Magyar people into the Kingdom of Hungary. Amongst others, Lajos Kossuth is supposed to be the Pater Patriae. He is known as the leader of the Hungarian Revolution of 1848 against the Habsburgs, and therefore founder of the modern Hungarian Republic. <inaudible> Ireland The Irish Free State was established after the Irish War of Independence 1919 in which Eamon de Valera, Cathal Brugge and Michael Collins were key leaders. However, they became antagonists in the Irish Civil War 1922-23, in which Collins and Brugge were killed and de Valera defeated. For decades, the inheritors of the opposing factions bypassed these sensitivities to honour the earlier leaders of the Easter Rising of 1916, in particular the seven signatories of the Proclamation of the Irish Republic, Patrick Pearce, James Connolly, Eamon Ceannt, Tom Clark, Sean Mac Dermada, Thomas McDonough, and Joseph Plunkett. Italy Before 1861 Caesar Augustus organized Italia and the Italicus Populus during the Roman Empire. Charlemagne first created a kingdom of Italy in medieval times. Napoleon Bonaparte was the first to use the title of President of the Italian Republic. Modern Italy King Vittorio Emanuele II, Giuseppe Garibaldi, Prime Minister Count di Cavour and Giuseppe Mazzini have been referred to as the Four Fathers of the Fatherland. Italy was unified in 1861 and Rome became its capital in 1870. The members of the Assemblia Constituent, the Constituent Assembly of 1946-1947 are considered the Fathers of the Italian Republic, which replaced the monarchy after a referendum in 1946. Prominent members among them included Alcide de Gasperi also counted among the founding fathers of the European Union, the communist Palmiro Tagliati and Vittorio Emanuele Orlando, the premier of victory in World War I. <laughs> Latvia Most Latvians regard Karlis Ulmanis, a key figure in the Latvian War of Independence and four times Prime Minister of Latvia, as being the founding father of modern Latvia. Lithuania The first and only king of Lithuania, Mindaugas, is seen as the founder of the Lithuanian state, as is commemorated on Statehood Day Lithuania every year on 6 July. Topic. Macedonia As well-respected statesmen in Macedonia are considered Matodia Andonov Cento first president of senior Macedonia, Nikola Karev president of Krusovo Republic and Kiro Gligorov first president of independent Macedonia. However, often, as fathers of the nation are considered Gotsi Delchev, Krste Misarkov, Georgi Pilevsky and Dmitry Kupovsky and other prominent authors and revolutionaries. Montenegro Petr i Petrovic Niegos acquired de facto independence for Montenegro from the Ottoman Empire and created the first Montenegrin law in modern era. Netherlands 
Prince William I of Orange or William the Silent, is known as the father of the Netherlands. He led the Dutch in their revolt against Spain for their independence. Today he is often called Vader de Vaderlands which in English means, father of the fatherland. Norway King Harald Fairhair, who unified Norway and ruled c. 872–930, is often considered the founder of the nation. Usually the Norwegian Constituent Assembly at Eidsvoll in 1814, consisting of 112 men from most of the country, in Norway often referred to as Eidsvoll men or the fathers of the constitution, Ina Henry Gerhardsen born 10. May 1897 in Asker as Ina Henry Olsen, dead 19. September 1987 was a Norwegian politician who represented the Labour Party. He was Norway's Prime Minister from 1945 to 1951, from 1955 to 1963 and from 1963 to 1965. In Norway, Gerhardsen is known as Landsfaderen, the father of the country and he is referred to as one of the main architects behind the Norwegian welfare state that emerged after World War II. Poland Mieszko I ca. 925 May 992, the first historical ruler of Poland, Mieszko I is considered the de facto creator of the Polish state. He was a Duke of the Polans from about 960 until his death. Mieszko I's marriage in 965 to the Premislid Princess Dobrawa and his baptism in 966 put him and his country in the cultural sphere of Western Christianity. According to existing sources, Mieszko I was a wise politician, a talented military leader and charismatic ruler. He successfully used diplomacy, concluding an alliance with Bohemia first, and then with Sweden and the Holy Roman Empire. In foreign policy, he placed the interests of his country foremost, even entering into agreements with former enemies. On his death, he left to his sons a country of greatly expanded territory, with a well-established position in Europe. Mieszko I also appeared as Dagom in a papal document from about 1085, called Dagom Udex which mentions a gift or dedication of Mieszko's land to the Pope the act took place almost a hundred years earlier. <inaudible> Portugal Viriathus was the most important leader of the Lusitanian people that resisted Roman expansion into western Hispania or Iberia as the Greeks called it. Today Viriathus is regarded as a national hero and an enduring symbol of Portuguese nationality and independence, portrayed by artists and celebrated by its people throughout the centuries. Henry of Burgundy 1066 was appointed Count of Portugal as a reward for military services to Kingdom of Leon, and with the purpose of expanding the territory southwards. And, more importantly, his son, Count Afonso I of Portugal 1109 a Templar brother who took control of the county after Henry died and was recognized by the Holy See, in 1179, as the first king of Portugal, through the Manifestus Probatum Bull. <laughs> Romania Burabista is considered the king who unified all the Dacian tribes and made it in a powerful empire stretching from west to Adriatic Sea and southern Germany, the east to Black Sea, north to southern Poland and south to Macedonia Greece, and eastern Thrace. He's considered by many Romanians as the largest territorial expansion in the Romanian history. Decibalus and Trajan are considered to be the fathers of the Romanian people, as Roman veterans were settled on the present-day territory of Romania following Trajan's Dacian Wars. Michael the Brave was the first Romanian prince to rule over the traditional Romanian provinces Wallachia, Moldavia and Transylvania in a personal union, albeit briefly. Alexandru Ioan Cuza was elected as the first leader of the modern Romanian state. He presided over Wallachia and Moldavia in a personal union, which later became permanent even though he was forced to abdicate. Russian Federation 
Boris Yeltsin was the first president of the Russian Federation. Topic: <laughs> San Marino. Saint Marinus was the founder of the world's oldest surviving republic, San Marino, in 301. Tradition holds that he was a stonemason by trade who came from the island of Rab on the other side of the Adriatic Sea modern Croatia, fleeing persecution for his Christian beliefs in the Diocletianic persecution. <inaudible> Serbia Stefan Nemanja, Grand Prince of Serbia R. 1166-1196 the Serbian Church, under Saint Sava, depicted Nemanja as the founder of Serbia. Karadord, Grand Leader 1804 liberator of Serbia, organizer and leader of the Serbian Revolution, the honorific father of the fatherland Otak Odidbine has been given to Saint Sava, Karadord, and Milo Sabrenovic, the latter having been given it by the National Assembly during his lifetime. Slovakia. Many Slovaks see Great Moravia as their ancestors, which would make Momer I a founder. <inaudible> Slovenia Franz Bukar is a Slovenian politician, legal expert and author. Between 1990 and 1992, he served as the first chairman of the freely elected Slovenian parliament. He was the one to formally declare the independence of Slovenia on 25 June 1991. He is considered one of the founders of Slovenian democracy and independence. He is also considered, together with Peter Jambrek, as the main author of the current Slovenian constitution. Joža Pichnik was president of Demos and one of the main persons in the Slovenian fight for independence. The largest Slovenian airport is named Litalis Jezeta Pichnika Joža Pichnik Airport. Lodz Peterol was first Prime Minister of Slovenia and Milan Kukin was the first President. Spain Catholic monarchs in the 15th century were responsible for the unification of Spain, both coming from the noble house of Trastamara. Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor was the first monarch of the Spanish Empire. Sweden While Sweden had existed as a monarchy of sorts long before his time, Berger Jarl, father of and regent for Valdemar, king of Sweden, can be said to have established Sweden as a nation. Berger was Jarl in the years 1248–66. Gustav I of Sweden, who secured Sweden's independence from Denmark in 1523, is often considered a father of the nation. Topic. Switzerland Both the anonymous Eidgenossen who drew up the Federal Charter of 1291, or the liberal statesmen who helped found the modern Swiss Confederation in 1848 can be considered the founders of Switzerland. Among the latter, those who became the first members of the Swiss Federal Council were perhaps the most notable, Ulrich Osenbein, Jakob Stampfli, Jonas Führer, Joseph Munzinger, Henri Drouy, Friedrich Frey Hirose, Wilhelm Matthias Neif and Stefano Francini. <laughs> Ukraine Mikhailo Ryshevsky was the president of the Central Council of Ukraine People's Republic. Leonid Kravchuk is the first president of Ukraine elected in 1991. United Kingdom As the UK formed over many years, its founders did not live at the same time as each other. 
They include, Humphrey Wingfield, Speaker of the English House of Commons in 1535, at the time of England's union with Wales, John Smith and James Ogilvy, 4th Earl of Findlater, Speakers of the English and Scottish Parliaments in 1707, when the Acts of Union united Scotland and England, Henry Addington and John Fitzgibbon, leaders of the British and Irish Parliaments at the time of the Acts of Union 1801, uniting Great Britain and Ireland, and Prime Minister David Lloyd George and Colonial Secretary Winston Churchill who both signed the Anglo-Irish Treaty, which allowed most of Ireland to leave the UK and become the Irish Free State. Northern Ireland had already been established in May 1921, having been created in the Government of Ireland Act in December 1920. This Act was guided through the British House of Commons by Sir Hamar Greenwood, MP, the Chief Secretary for Ireland at the time. Northern Ireland had been created at the insistence of both Captain Sir James Craig and Sir Edward Carson, the Ulster Unionist leaders. Americas Argentina Manuel Belgrano was an important figure in early Argentina. Topic: <inaudible> Belize. George Cadle Price (1919–2011) is considered to be the father of the nation of Belize. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bolivia. Simón Bolívar and Antonio José de Sucre are considered to be the founders of Bolivia. Brazil Pedro Álvarez Cabral commander of the first Portuguese fleet to arrive in South America. José Bonifacio de Andrada e Silva (1763–1838), known as Patriarch of Independence, is considered the maximum leader of the independence movement because of his intellectual mentorship and political prominence. And Pedro I of Brazil (1798–1834), son of the King João VI of Portugal, the symbol of the center of force and union, according to the Bonifacio strategy. Canada The name, Fathers of Confederation, is given to those who attended the Charlottetown and Quebec Conferences in 1864, and the London Conference of 1866, to establish the Canadian Confederation. There were 36 original Fathers of Confederation. Queen Victoria, who supported and encouraged this process, is known as the Mother of Confederation. She was the first monarch under the 1867 Constitution and personally chose Ottawa as Canada's capital city. The political leaders who brought the other provinces into Confederation after 1867 are also referred to as Fathers of Confederation. Caribbean community Errol Barrow, Barbados, 1920 to 1987; Forbes Burnham, Guyana, 1923 to 1985; Michael Manley, Jamaica, 1924 to 1997; and Eric Williams, Trinidad and Tobago, 1911 to 1981, were the leaders who brought forth regional integration among the Caribbean community. Topic: <laughs> Chile. Bernardo O'Higgins and José Miguel Carrera are usually considered the founders of Chile. Colombia Simón Bolívar, was founder of Gran Colombia, which also included Panama, Ecuador, and Venezuela. Francisco de Paula Santander wrote the first Constitution of Colombia. Antonio Nariño, precursor of the independence, and Camilo Torres were the most relevant statesmen of the First Republic. Topic: <laughs> Costa Rica. 
Juan Mora Fernandez, first head of state of Costa Rica. Jose Maria Castro Madras, first president of the republic and proclaimed founder of the republic. By Congress Juan Rafael Mora Porras, president during Costa Rica's campaign against William Walker, proclaimed, Hero and Liberator, by Congress. <inaudible> Cuba José Martí is a Cuban national hero. <inaudible> <inaudible> Dominican Republic Juan Pablo Duarte (1813–1876), Francisco del Rosario Sanchez (1817–1861), and Matias Ramón Mella (1816–1864) are considered the fathers of the country. Duarte is featured on the $1 coin and on the now discontinued $1 bill, Sanchez on the $5 coin and on the also discontinued $5 bill, Mella on the $10 coin and on the also discontinued $10 bill. Haiti Toussaint Louverture the 20th of May 1743 to the 8th of April 1803 and Jean-Jacques Dessalines the 20th of September 1758 to the 17th of October 1806 were revolutionary and early political leaders of Haiti Henri Christophe and Alexander Pechin were also important figures of early Haiti Jamaica Alexander Bustamante and Norman Washington Manley are considered to be the founders of Jamaica. Alexander Bustamante is credited for his role as an influential union leader and as founder of the Jamaican Labour Party. Bustamante served as the then colony's first chief minister from 1953 to 1955 and later went on to lead Jamaica to independence from the United Kingdom in 1962, becoming the country's first prime minister. Norman Washington Manley is particularly noted for his role in securing universal suffrage for the country's population in 1944 along with founding the People's National Party. Manley also served as Chief Minister of Jamaica from 1955 to 1962. Mexico According to the decrees of the Congress of the Union of Mexico issued in 1822 and 1823, the Mexican founders are Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla (1753–1811), Ignacio Allende (1769–1811), Juan Aldama (1774–1811), Mariano Abasolo (1783–1816), Jose Maria Morelos (1765–1815), Mariano Matamoros (1770–18). 1814, Leonardo Bravo, 1764 to 1812, Miguel Bravo, unknown 1814, Hermenegildo Galeana, 1762 to 1814, Mariano Jimenez, 1781 to 1811, Xavier Mina, 1789 to 1817, Pedro Moreno, 1775 to 1817, and Victor Rosales, 1776 to 1817. Nine of the thirteen founders are buried in the Monument to the Independence in Mexico City. <inaudible> Peru José de San Martín and Simón Bolívar led Peru to independence and forged the country. <inaudible> <inaudible> South America José de San Martín, Simón Bolívar, Antonio José de Sucre, Francisco de Paula Santander, Francisco de Miranda have been referred to as the founding fathers of the region comprising modern-day Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia and Panama. <inaudible> Uruguay José Artigas is considered to be the founder of Uruguay. United States Within the large group known as the Founding Fathers, 
There are two key subsets, the signers who signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776 and the framers who were delegates to the Federal Convention and took part in framing or drafting the proposed Constitution of the United States. Some historians have suggested a revised definition of the founding fathers including a significantly broader group of not only the signers and the framers but also all those who, whether as politicians or jurists or statesmen or soldiers or diplomats or ordinary citizens, took part in winning U.S. independence and creating the United States of America. Eminent American historian Richard B. Morris, in his 1973 book Seven Who Shaped Our Destiny, The Founding Fathers as Revolutionaries, identified the following seven figures as the key founders, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and George Washington. Venezuela Simón Bolívar is considered to be the founder not only of Venezuela, but of many of the region's countries as the Gran Colombia, which also included Panama, Ecuador, and Colombia and Bolivia. José Antonio Paez led the separation of Venezuela from the Gran Colombia and formed the modern statehood of the country. Oceania. Topic: Australia. Sir Henry Parkes (1815–1896) is often regarded as the father of federation in Australia. During the late 19th century, he was the strongest proponent for a federation of Australian territories. However, he died before Australia federated and was never able to see his plan come to fruition. Various other founders. Of Australia have also been unofficially recognised, Captain Arthur Phillip, the first Governor of New South Wales and founder of the first British colony, and Sir Edmund Barton, the first Australian Prime Minister. Andrew Inglis Clark is another founding father of Australia. He largely wrote the Australian Constitution in addition to developing the Hare Clark system of voting and pushing for universal adult suffrage and other progressive ideals that would become law early in Australia's history. Topic. Federated States of Micronesia Chief Justice Andan Amarach is regarded as one of the founding fathers of the Federated States of Micronesia. Topic. Fiji Ratu Sir Kamasezi Mara is widely viewed as the founding father of an independent Fiji. Topic. New Zealand James Busby drafted the Declaration of the Independence of New Zealand and co-authored with William Hobson the Treaty of Waitangi, which is considered by some to be the founding document of the nation of New Zealand. The Treaty of Waitangi was not however the basis for either the British annexation of New Zealand, or the development of representative government in the colony. The indigenous Maori people of New Zealand consider Kupe, a mythologized figure who led the first migration to New Zealand from Hawaii in the 10th century, to be a founding figure and the common ancestor of all Maori. <laughs> Papua New Guinea Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare is viewed as the founding father of Papua New Guinea. The leading figure during the country's transition to independence from Australia, he was Papua New Guinea's first Prime Minister. Tonga King George Tupo I, who united his country and established the contemporary Kingdom of Tonga, has been described as Tonga's founding father. Former states and other territories <inaudible> Arabia Before the Prophet Muhammad's migration to Yathrib present-day Medina, the Arabian Peninsula was tribal. Spread out and distant, region to region. 
After the migration in 622 AD, the Prophet Muhammad began to spread the word of Islam to the other Arab tribes outside of Mecca. Through this preaching and military expeditions, he accumulated a large army of loyal followers and returned to Mecca to conquer it in the name of Islam in 629 AD. At his death in 632 AD, the region was bounded into one polity under the flag of Islam. After his death, the four caliphs of the Rashidun Caliphate expanded the territory which led to victories against the Roman, Byzantine and Persian empires. Bohemia Although the first known ruler of Bohemia was Borovoy I, Duke of Bohemia, the real unifier of various Slavic tribes in Bohemia and creator of nation was Duke Bolslaus I, Duke of Bohemia. Charles IV, Holy Roman Emperor is regarded as the father of the homeland in the Czech Republic, because during his time the Kingdom of Bohemia experienced the greatest prosperity. Tomas Garig Masaryk is widely revered as the liberator president who played the chief role in the 1918 melding of Bohemia, Moravia, Slovakia and Ruthenia into the Czechoslovak Republic, and who served as president of the republic from 1918 to 1935. <laughs> republic of China Sun Yat-sen is revered as the founding father, father of the country, Guo Fu of the Republic of China. Wang Di reigned between 2698 and 2598 BC is revered as the legendary founder and initiator of Chinese civilization. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Czechoslovakia. Tomas Garig Masaryk, first president of Czechoslovakia, known as President Liberator. Topic: <inaudible> England. It was King Athelstan (893–895–939 AD) who united the several Anglo-Saxon kingdoms of England around the year 927, when he became King of the English as opposed to his previous title, King of the West Saxons. However, his fame is often overshadowed by his predecessor and grandfather Alfred the Great (871–899 AD), who set in motion the unification of the English kingdoms and could also claim to be the nation's founder. Korea For ancient Korea, Waning, Waning Huan Shang and his son Dangan Wangjiam, Dangan Wangjiam Tan Jun Wang Jian are legendary founders of Gojoseon, the first kingdom of Korea. The founding date is usually calculated as 3 October 2333 BC. 3 October is a South Korean national holiday known as Gaechonjal, Gaechonjal Kai Tianji Festival of the Opening of Heaven. However in North Korea, Gaechonjal is not celebrated and recognized at all, unlike South Korea. <inaudible> Russian Empire Rurik, Varangian prince and prince of Novgorod beginning around 862 AD, Oleg, Rurik's kinsman and successor, extended his realm from Novgorod south to the Dnieper River Valley and later moved his capital to the more strategic Kiev, where he established Kievan Rus the modern peoples of Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia all have Kievan Rus as their cultural heritage. Ivan the Terrible, Grand Prince of Moscow also Prince of Novgorod from 1533 to 1547 and Tsar of all the Russias from 1547 until his death in 1584. Ivan also claimed the historical title, Grand Prince of Kiev, for himself, but this was more of a flourish, since Kiev had never formed part of his realm and Moscow would not control the Kievan region until the Truce of Andrusovo 1667, but Kiev remained an important city in early Slavic history and culture. Peter the Great, Tsar from 1682, officially proclaimed the establishment of the Russian Empire in 1721, following the Treaty of Nystad, and himself its first emperor. He instituted sweeping reforms and oversaw the transformation of Russia into a major European power, reorganizing the state in the Western style. Founder of St. Petersburg Vladimir the Great was the first Christian prince of Kievan Rus. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Scotland. The fictionalizing medieval poem The Wallace, c. 1477, celebrated William Wallace, died 1305, as one of the founder heroes of Scotland's struggle to preserve, re-establish independence from Plantagenet England. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Soviet Union. Vladimir Lenin, officially one among many equal founders of the country, Lenin was, de facto, the paramount leader, founder of the Soviet Union and the CPSU, the party that ruled it via one-party rule as well as the founding father of the modern Russian state. He died soon after the country's founding and retained a special status of secular apotheosis for the rest of the country's history. Texas. Lorenzo de Zavala Topic <inaudible> Wales Magnus Maximus CA 335 to 28 August 388 According to Welsh tradition Magnus Maximus Welsh Maxon W L E D I G was a Roman general who was proclaimed emperor of Rome by his soldiers in Britain in 383 As such he was the first Romano Britain, ruler of Britain and Rome itself. His mytho heroic founding of Wales is celebrated in the modern Welsh anthem YMAOHYD by David Ewan. Howell DDA C. was responsible for the codification of traditional Welsh law, which, according to historian John Davies, was a powerful symbol of Welsh unity and identity, as powerful, indeed, as their language. Gruffydd ap Llywelyn was the first Welsh king to rule over the entire territory of Wales, from about 1057 until his death in 1063. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom of Yugoslavia King Alexander I of Yugoslavia, known as Alexander the Unifier. Topic. Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia Josip Broz Tito, Marshal of Yugoslavia 1943 Topic. Union of South Africa Louis Botha was the first Prime Minister of the Union of South Africa. Jan van Riebeek was treated as a South African founding father by the South African government during the apartheid era, being featured on statues and the country's currency although the likeness was erroneous and was actually that of another man. <laughs> Zaire Mobutu Sese Siko was the founder of Zaire and its only president. <laughs> 